Man, I'm going to tell you something. When it comes down to that gunplay and k New Orleans got Baton Rouge with that. I ain't saying they don't do that in Baton Rouge because they do. They do. But let's start with Baton Rouge, bro. And we're being an hour away from New Orleans in a relationship with Baton Rouge. Okay, um, after we moved out to the East, my mama got married. My sophomore year in high school. So we moved to Gosman, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Which is right by Baton Rouge. Now Gonzalez too. Then we moved to Gonzalez, right? You say y'all lived there for a while? Yeah, I lived there. I went to high school there. Mm -hmm. What was that like when y'all first got there, being from New Orleans? It was hectic, bro. It was hectic. It was hectic. You come from the city and you go to a country town, all the girls on you. The girls on you, right? So don't like that. Don't like that. And them boys about fighting, they bought that scrap. Man, I'll never forget, let me tell this quick story. We was at a party, right? Me and my brother, the only ones in the party, slow dragging with the, with the two little bras in that bitch, right? So this little dude, man, Reggie Brown, I don't know what problem he had with me, you know what I'm saying? We cool now, you know, we didn't got, you know, it, it after that, it, it went after that, but I come out of the club, I mean, we come out of the house, it was a house party, we come out of the house, he like, which one of you should die? What's up? I'm like, I couldn't be no punk, we outside of the party, everybody out here, this was big though. I really ain't want to fight that. I was small, bro. I was one thirty after I got out of the Marines. So imagine what I was then in my sophomore year in high school. This he was a big youngster on the football team. Football team. They make a long story short. We get the fight. Boom, 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 boom. You dig? They break us up and shit. I'm mad as a motherfucker because that was them licks was hurting. Now I'm trying to jump in. You know what I'm saying, Wayne? But the out there, they grabbing me, holding me like, nah, let them go. We didn't have no friends out there yet. We didn't have no friends yet. Like my first week out here, something like that. Me and Fight, boom, 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 boom. I feel like I lost, cause the next day I had a shiner, I had hickeys all over my head and shit. Cause I'm fighting, I'm, we fighting. But he punching down, cause that was so big. I had hickeys all over my <laughs> head, and a black eye. I'm mad than a mother But the next day at school, I'm yeah. like, we gonna, we gonna jump. I gotta get my lick That's back. That's what we say, we gonna we jump. We jump it, and I'm like, nah, 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 we ain't gonna, this is what we gonna do. You go through the double doors down here, when he turn around and look at you, I'ma come through these yeah. double doors, I'ma cold cock so we set him up. We set him up. So I came through one double door. He turned around, looked at me. He looking at me. I'm coming up the hallway. He looking at me. My brother came from behind. Came out these double doors. He said, I let a few people walk in first. Cause when the door first opened, he looked to see it wasn't me. A few people walked in. After he got his mind off them people and looked back at my brother, here I come from around the corner. Bow! Hit that boy. That boy dropped like the <laughs> shit. I'm putting them feet on. I'm putting them hands on. We fight. They broke us up and shit. I got suspended. I got it back. In my opinion, mm -hmm. right? So I come back, you know, after my little suspension and shit, I walk in the hallway. As soon as I see him, I take off my books. Like I run up on that boy. That boy stuck his hand out. Shake my hand. I was so happy that that boy <laughs> stuck his hand out. Boy, the f***ing licks hurt. I ain't want no more hickers in my head. Say, bro, where you think that came from? What, what, the, 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 the truth that he caused? Right? I, I, I have no idea to this day. I think, that you was going, yeah. Nobody was, probably never f***ed him like that again. Well, like no, that. it wasn't that, bro. We was sitting and we was fighting, beating up at school and shit. They ain't, ain't feel right about that. Yeah. For real. But there are a lot of dudes that, that you know, that, that I, I, a lot of friends that I know out there that I, that I met, they successfully do doing, doing what they mm -hmm. like. Shout out to Tim Delmo, he was a football star, mm -hmm. the homie. Uh, Reggie Sumley. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Tate. Having an experience with both, Brown. with both cities, who would you say is the wildest? Man, I'm going to tell you something. When it comes down to that gunplay and killing, New Orleans got Baton Rouge with that. I ain't saying they don't do that in Baton Rouge because they, Rouge, do, that they too. do. Right? Mm -hmm. But Baton Rouge, let me tell you my first experience noticing from Baton Rouge and from Baton Rouge to New Orleans. When I first moved out there, everybody used to go to this bowling, bowling alley called Don Carter's on Airline. Everybody used to go there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From all over. So we out there chilling. I'm outside chilling. I'm standing outside. I'm just cooling. Man, I see a big old ragged ass car. I'm talking about a long ass. I think it was a Delta 88 or something. Wang, 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 wang. Trump rallying. Yeah. Everybody in the got their shirts off. Sweating, sweating like they're different. Working team. out. Wild hair yeah. tattoos all in their face. Bucking and jumping yeah. around and shit. It was a culture shock to me. I'm like, God, the wildest, the wildest. In Baton Rouge, in our opinion, wilder than New Orleans. Wild, dog. Like I say, as far as crashing, there's some wild niggas gonna crash. In Baton Rouge, yeah. though. They really is. The gun game might not be as crazy, which it is not, because that shit changed. Yeah. But we went to a club one time in Baton Rouge by Mall City. You did? That's a, that's a bad part of Baton Rouge. It's a club, you just sit in the parking lot. Man, some dude from Valley Park and Glen Oaks, that's a different part of Baton Rouge, they were beefing. We got into it. I don't remember if the dude was from Valley Park or Glen Oaks. I don't know if somebody from Baton Rouge can verify that. I think I dude know. from Valley Park, Rabo, from Valley Park. Rabo. It was back in the they day. They jumped him, bro. They, the dude, they killed, they beat him to death in the club. Damn. Jumped him. Hit him with stools and all type of shit. Oh, Peter Rabo, you know, no disrespect to his family. Yeah. Even over 20 years ago. Yeah. But I'm just telling you how them yeah. get out. Yeah. They, 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 they crashed. 25 Wow. They don't give a shit like that. We did a concert one time in Baton Rouge. It was two Baton Rouge 
Man, we was like 30 deep. You want to fight my little partners and shit. My little partners was like, hey, man, listen, we had Ray, like, Smurf, 250, Eric, Denard, uh, uh, shit, boy, uh, Joe, chicken, a whole bunch of it, everybody. It, it, all of us was out there at this concert. We about to, they about to beat the fuck out of the dude. Dude had a pompa dude. Mm. Me, me, me and him had to really say to the dude, because they were going to hit that boy with trash cans and Everything. mop ringers and all. Mm -hmm. It wasn't scared kind no. of shit. It was too Say, bro, when you say crash, why don't you explain that to, to the viewers? Man, that. you ain't just see the dude on, 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 on YouTube got shot in the head from Baton Rouge talking about some, yeah, I really like that. And I sent that back too. And at the end of the video, that boy said, this bitch starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> that's that's what I mean, crash. I ain't necessarily saying that's crash like that. Crash. Just do some, some wild, wild shit. Wild, wild. Some wild. Salute the Baton Rouge dude, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We could be all right. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go back and forth with who the wild is. I did what I felt like I had to do to survive. All these stories we told you, they were with us. You know what I'm saying? We just took it to extreme like we supposed to. I'll never a bullet. That's survival. Who oh, was somebody? Nah, Who lived in the East, bro? Mighty, Peanut, uh, Milton, Milton, Rock, Big Reds, like I say, Mike, yeah. my little partner, Rasheen, Karan, like, all of us used to fight. All of us was, you, you had to be a motherfucker that Fighter. fight. See, bro, one thing Even up time. One thing y'all never mentioned that I don't remember that stood out is the part of East, the East y'all were from. We we live East in East Hill, current place, current place. Shout out to my partner Pug, man. Shout out to Pug, man. Shout out to Tracy, my partner June. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to June. Wendell, Wendell, my you did. Randy, yeah, Randy, Twan. Because when we moved to current place, man, people were from the Ninth Wall, the Seventh Wall, the Seventeenth, Uptown, Uptown, everywhere, everywhere. That moved mm -hmm. in the current place. That, that was like first started section eight. A big shift, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we went to LA, man. Shout out to my partner Malik Spellman. He got his own talk show too. What's your story? You know what I'm saying? I, I met a little dude named Tragedy. So I got connections out there too. Mm -hmm. And then Malik Spellman was the, with the dude that took us to all these all these different neighborhoods, these gangs, and we met the top dudes, the generals. You know what I'm saying? From a lot of these gangs. You know what I'm Somebody saying? Somebody did a story on the dude Dale Dog from Main Street. Mm -hmm. We got a chance to kick it with him. We, you know, we we met him. Got in the van with him. We got some. Yeah. Adventure was called Red Moon. You can never, you can't even find that shit. Yeah, we so met bro. Cowboy before Cowboy was even big. Mm -hmm. You know he took us to Cowboy. We met that a long time ago. We went we went to Mansfield and met a whole bunch of those OGs over there. You know Puppet Dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we did the beat masters and met a lot of yeah. Drug like, man from New Orleans. Yeah, he ended up going to L.A. Mm -hmm. He caught the vibe. He ended up ended up claiming the set. Yeah, with y'all being out in L.A. was the the vibe wasn't that strong to the, to the point where y'all thought at one point I'm, I'm a Gang shit. No, 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 no. He was living out there. Yeah. He went to school out there. Yeah, he was going to school. He, was he, out there. he didn't just go out there and just, he was involved. He, that neighborhood he lived in, you he couldn't say, I ain't from over here. Right. They were like, no, we seeing you with them. So he, I ain't going to say he had to do that. He lived there though, but he really was living there. I wasn't living there. I was just visiting. Yeah. Was it ever appealing to y'all at any point at all? I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Really, the way the games is in that lane is the same thing in New Orleans. The thing is, this is a difference though. We don't claim colors. But anybody on our set, our section, we riding for that. Yeah, the no is one. You know what I'm right. saying? We talk about the old side, new side walls, but the no is one. The Calio is one. When they outside the Calio, the Calio together. Mm -hmm. The Thomas, the Melf, the, the Magnolia, the same way. We together when we outside this. Bitch. Everybody got this skitty stats. Yeah. When it come down to it, bitch, we all one. We all one. Gotcha. Now, my cousin went out there. He also got put down, like, on, 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 uh, was it 69 East Coast? Big Stein. He talked good about it. I never met him. Right, but Big Stein was the one who put him on. Like the Big Stein was was, was he talked good about that dude? Yeah, gotcha. from East Coast. Gotcha. You did. But I know a lot of I know a lot of gang bangers in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and Compton. You and think shit if, like you, that. if if you would have lived out there and it, it was like certainly, why would I live? That's where I got down. Certainly, yeah. certainly. Mm -hmm. And, and you, see, you see from the movies, you might think that the Crips is on the blood, but no, it ain't like that. They, they like some that. real hard, some formidable hard blood. Hard blood. Out there too, like if you go down, that's the only way you really see. And when we went out there, when we found out we didn't gang bang, we wasn't affiliated. All of them showed us love. It was love, bro.